Hey everyone, this is Pandemic. I'm the author of the Immersive Halo Jump Mod. I'm going to be showing you how to install it, um, how to run it, and uh, just kind of talking about some other key pieces of information about its usage. Um, so right off the bat, uh, just, just as a heads up, this is not sort of a normal mod where it's not a module that you put down in the editor and just kind of run it like that. Instead, this is actually a composition, uh, which means that you actually have to take the, the composition from this folder and put it in your own user profiles folder which is not hard to do at all it's really easy and i'll show you how to do that in a second um, the other thing too is obviously this mod requires the usaf mod so make sure you have that installed too and ready to go i just was too lazy to put that in my list so um so here we go so all you got to do is obviously put it in here right click open folder i understand this is your arma 3 workshop uh, folder which has all the mods that you're subscribed to and you just open up the you know immersive halo jump mod and here you go compositions so all you have to do is just copy that and then wherever your compositions folder is which is probably going to vary from person to person if i'm not mistaken i think by default it's under this pc documents i could be wrong mine is in a totally different location so and yours might be too so you got to know where that is i can't help you with that Figure, you're just going to have to figure that out. Um, so mine is under my S drive, Arma 3, other profiles, and users, and here you go. This is what you want. So open up your user profile and then compositions. Now, if you have a compositions folder, great. If not, it doesn't matter. If you copied the whole compositions folder from the mod folder, you should be good to go. So all you have to do is just paste it. Obviously, I already have it, so it's going to replace it rather than you shouldn't have it. So... Uh, yeah, anyway, um, and that's it. That's all you had to do. So now I'll be going into game and showing you how to, basically how to use it. All right, so here we are in game. As I said, this is an extremely easy to use mod. It's as simple as putting down a composition, moving a plane to wherever you want it, um, setting up yourself wherever you want to be, and that's it. And then you just basically go into game and, and run it. So uh, the way you do that is you go up here to compositions, which is F2 go to custom and then I have a bunch here obviously so I'm going to uh, search for it pandemics halo jump put it down and that's it uh, this is literally it would be good to go right now if you wanted to do it that way however I do recommend moving this guy so if we left him alone here then what he would do is the default arma thing he'd go take off and loiter around this airfield which may be fine you may like that I personally I, I generally don't seem to start at an airfield um, and so and also my maps are generally populated when I make uh, a mission with op4 and so I don't like him anywhere near me anywhere around basically anything so I'm going to take him and I'm going to drag him way over here into the corner and then if I snap to him as you can see he's way high in the air here so you, which is perfect that's what you want um, he is invincible but at the same time you just don't you don't have to worry about him crashing or getting shot down or detect or you know op4 detecting him or anything when he's way over there. So that's what I recommend doing. Um, next thing you'll notice here is this dude and uh, these lights. So these lights will get attached to the plane at mission start. So it doesn't matter where you put them. You're not going to see them when you start. And so you don't have to worry about that killing your immersion or anything. Same thing with this guy. You can literally put him anywhere in the map. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see him. The enemy's not going to see him and he's not going to see the enemy. So you don't have to worry about that breaking your mission or, uh, or ruining your immersion or anything he's going to be invisible so but he does have to be in here and i do recommend keeping him in fact if you don't keep him uh well it doesn't just don't change him don't <laughs> i just would recommend that um so uh and yeah that's it so as you'll see here in a second i'm just going to move this guy right here so that you can see that these things will not be visible at mission start um next thing is this table with this laptop you can change this to whatever you want i just made it a laptop but if you wanted it to be you know a, a table or like a car or what it doesn't matter but this is what you're going to use to set up your flight and where you want to drop and everything and i just put a light here so that you can see this what i'm about to demonstrate because we're going to set this up at night so you can see the lighting effects and yeah so here we go in game now um a couple quick notes uh, for one, this mod is primarily made for multiplayer. Um, you can use it in single player, but you're going to have to switch 
units and then individually have them board the plane. Um, I am, I'm not an experienced modder, but I do plan on finding some sort of fix for that in the future uh, because I, I play a lot of single player and I would like to be able to do that as well. Um, the next thing is uh, this plane is extremely loud. So just letting you know that right now, I turned my volume down. Hopefully this, hopefully it's quiet enough that you know you can actually hear everything I'm trying to say, but um, it is really loud. And I'll show you a little trick when you get in there to if you need to communicate with someone when you're inside. So um, real quick, as you can see here, there's no diver, there's no or no soldier, there's no uh, lights or anything. It's so like I said, you don't have to worry about those. Um, so as you can see, three easy steps. Step one: select drop zone. Uh, you can put this anywhere um, to demonstrate that uh, that it works in the water. I'm actually going to put it in the water because this is actually an updated video. The previous one did not work in the water, um, but now it, now it should. So uh, step two, select altitude. So let's go, I don't know, 10,000 because we're hardcore. And then after that, it's as easy as just boarding the plane. Quick note, because um, someone did ask me about this. If you're playing with a group, only one person needs to set up the flight plan and then everyone else just has to say board plane. So if you, you know, everybody just comes up here, says board plane, they'll all teleport into the plane. Um, lastly here, there's this uh, last option, which clears the flight plan, lets you start over, basically detaches everything and undoes everything so that you can just go ahead and start over, um, which I recommend doing. I mean, you kind of don't have to, but it does make it work smoother if you do. So anyway, here we go. So as you can see now, we're here in the plane. It's lit up. Um, this is the spot over here that kind of makes it easier to talk. If you if you put your ear up to the wall, as you can see, it's a little quieter. Um, so you kind of everybody can kind of go up to the wall if you need to talk about your plan or whatever you're doing. Um, so moving on is if you use the scroll wheel, as you can see here, there's three options: lights out, red light, and green light. Um, I so lights out and red light will both open the cargo door. I'm pretty sure green light does too. I don't really remember. Um, it's been a little bit since I actually made this, but yeah. And so it's when you hit click red light, as you can see, light turns red and the cargo door opens. It takes a second. It's not a quick opening. So nothing I can really do about that. And also nothing I can really do about the, uh, uh, what's it called? The, how loud it is in here. So there you go, it's open, and then whenever you're ready at your leisurely pace, you just hit green light. And then the light turns green and everybody jumps out. And there you go. So, as you can see, super easy to use. Um, it's, uh, obviously I went more in depth than, I, than probably most people would, but it's, it's literally, you just put down the composition, move the plane into the corner, and that's it, you're good to go. So. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for downloading. Um, if you have any questions or feedback or uh, suggestions or anything, please let me know in the comments. Um, I am planning on adding a RHS a C130 version of this. I'm just having a little bit of problems getting the lighting functions to work, but I should be that should probably be coming within the next few days. So keep an eye out for that if you want to use that. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you very much, and I hope you guys enjoy this.